this module will focus on organizing, teamwork, and communications, how you motivate the work. This module will focus on motivating the workforce, organizing, teamwork, communications, leadership, etc. motivating the workforce. Let's start with some of the basics of motivation. Understanding practically what motivates individuals on the job, performance on the job, is the field called human relations. The study of the behavior of individuals and groups in organizing settings is what human relations is all about. In human relations, in, in human relations we study how we activate programs and interactions that motivate employees to achieve, achieve organizational objectives efficiently and effectively. The field of human relations has become increasingly important over the years as business tries, tries, strives to understand how to boost workplace morale, maximize an employee's productivity and creativity, and motivate their ever more, an ever more diverse uh, set of employees to be more effective working together. Motivation is an inner drive that directs a person's behavior towards goals. A goal is the satisfaction of some need and a need is the difference between a desired outcome and your one's actual state. Most needs and goals can be motivating. Motivation explains why people behave as they do. Similarly, a lack of motivation explains at times why people avoid doing what they should do. Effectively motivating employees helps keep them engaged in their work. Engagement involves emotional commitment and involvement in the activities that are occurring. Being engaged results in carrying out the expectations and obligations of the employment agreement. Many employees are actively engaged in their jobs, while others are not. Some employees do the minimum amount of work required to get by, and some employees are completely disengaged, not doing even what's necessary. Motivating employees to stay engaged is a key responsibility of management. It may sound easy, but sometimes it can be quite difficult. A person who recognizes or feels a need is motivated to take action to satisfy the need and achieve the goal. This figure shows how that process works. Consider a person who takes a job as a salesperson. If his or her performance is far below other salespeople, he or she will likely recognize a need to increase sales. To satisfy that need and achieve that success, the person may try to acquire new insights from successful salespeople or obtain additional training to improve sales skills. In addition, a sales manager might try different means to motivate a salesperson to work harder and to improve his or her skills. That is, when you recognize a difference from an expectation, creates a sense of a need to change things, and drives certain behaviors directed towards that goal. This is the, the general model of this behavior process.